good, huh? That's yours. Just eat it. That's yours. Describe the texture. <laughs> How about you, man? It's good. The cheese is good. How's your cheese? Yeah, okay. Alright guys, so it is, uh, what day is it today? Day three? Yeah. No, no, it's Four. way more. Day five? I don't know, but it's Monday today. We are making our way to the station with no Tobias. We're gonna go on a Ma Bear Pa Bear date. We're gonna go to Team Lab Planets and then we're gonna go to Shibuya Sky. And we'll keep you guys updated on what we're doing. Sorry, the rain is like hitting me. <laughs> When we booked our tickets for Team Lab Planets, you have to book a time window for entry into the museum. These are just one of those touristy places in Japan and you have to make a reservation to get in. The sponsor for today's video can help you with those reservations that you need while you're traveling. The Klook app helped us book tickets for Team Lab Planets, but you can also use it for Team Lab Borderless and also Shibuya Sky. We like using Cloak to book these tickets because we can use our US credit cards with no issues. Sometimes when you're using like a Japan website, it doesn't allow the transaction to go through sometimes. But as far as Team Lab Planets, if the time window you're looking for isn't available, try selecting a different day because remember these tickets do get booked out like a couple weeks to a month in advance. Well, when we got out of the rain and into this little entry area, uh, before we got to the locker rooms, we were instructed to remove our shoes and to find an available locker and to put all our stuff in there like backpacks and all you're really allowed to bring is your phone and maybe like a couple other small things, but really all you need is your phone.
You wanna follow some fish? Come here, let's follow fish. We're gonna follow. Them. Oh, they're going fast. Man, they don't like them. That was interesting. Super interesting. I liked it. That was cool. I liked it. It was, it was uh, definitely a different experience, which is good. It's kind of like makes you want to like really take it in. I just didn't like the the routine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. I didn't get sick, but I just started feeling myself like slowly getting dizzy. <laughs> Alright, after finishing up at Team Labs, we still had some time before heading to Shibuya Sky. So we decided to grab some food at this food plaza type place that we saw online. It was called the Toyosu Senkiaku Banrai or something. It was just one stop away from Team Labs, so we decided to go check it out. And like we saw like all the spots that, that were there, the, you know, a lot of like a lot of food spots that we wanted to check out, matcha, 
desserts, wagyu, all that. So we went to go eat our lunch there. So we hopped on a train and directed ourselves to Shibuya Sky, which is about a block from the actual Shibuya crossing. And right here on the map is just an example of two different trains that you can take and you end up going to the same place. Whoa, mommy, where are we at? Oh, that's the edge that they're in line for. That's what I want. So we took a bunch of pictures here at the top of Shibuya Sky, but it was just way too windy for any kind of audio uh, for the video. But we got some pretty cool pictures and the photos actually at the edge turned out even more epic.
then after we took pictures at the edge, we just made our way down to the actual Shibuya crossing where we met the fam and they brought Tobias with them, so we wanted to regroup. Alright guys, so we're over here at the top of Shibuya crossing, here at uh, Shibuya 109 building. It's the top over here. Everybody else stayed down because they're at Starbucks, they're chilling. But I decided to do a little time lapse here at the top. It's pretty empty, pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's good because it's raining. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. Not too bad. We'll go check out the rest of the building. Shibuya 109 was one of those places that I saw on Instagram and I expected it to be super busy up there but maybe because of the rain it wasn't that busy when I went but the cool deal about this place is that your entrance fee of 1500 yen actually gets you access to the rooftop view indoor and outdoor as well as one drink either alcoholic or non-alcoholic and you can stay there as long as you want take pictures do time lapse and just enjoy the view now you might be wondering why I'm filming this Starbucks window but if you look closely I'm actually texting the family and I'm waiting for somebody to check their phone on the group chat to look out the window and look up and I think dad finally notices and then he starts waving and then that's when everybody looks up and sees where I'm at. Hey man! I'll go in front of you, Titalu. Oh yeah. Just, I'll just do this. Yeah. We're celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Say go! <laughs> You want to cross with me? You want to cross with me? Okay, cross. Come on, man. Let's go. You're going to cross with me? Ready? Ready? Set. Go. Go, 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 go. Ready, go. We're in the middle. Yay. Ready, set, go! Go again! 